I'm, go uh, I'm going to trace this pattern out. That's the first thing I'll do. I hope you can see. I hope this um, this pen. I'm not using. I'm going to use a pencil, but if I use a pencil, you may not see my pattern markings. So I don't know. I hope you can see this. Right. So this is the front. So this thing I see here. And I'm going to move this way, I like walking with the edge. So I'm going to craft this out. I'm going to take this out. And my styling will be on this ones that I have brought out. So you see, I'll go and keep back this one because it's very important that I keep my patterns. So I'm going to keep it there now. I won't just cut it out. I want to make a simple dress for a baby. People always have issues with um, the armhole for a child. But I'm going to make a shirt or something else for a child. I could leave it to be dismantled. But I don't like it dismantled. So I'm going to raise it up a bit because children do not have. I came up here by well, 1.5 cm. Children do not have that kind of slanted shoulder. So slanted um, back. So I'm going to. I've taken it up. So I'll come up here too and I'll come up by 1.5 cm and I'll take it up too so that it meets at this place. And um, I don't like that this, I want it to be a bit inside and not outside. So see me, I'm styling my, I'm styling my, my child's clothes from here. So this is about 1 cm. So I'm going in by 1 cm on this pattern. So here would be cut off. Okay, here will be cut off, and my new pattern is coming this way. Now, the neck is too high, and I do not like that the neck is too high. I want it to go in, go down a bit by 3 cm. So, I go down by 3 cm, and with my curve, I am do I want the neck to be that way? So, I'm coming out by 1 cm. So, I do that, and then I would I'll curve it a bit, just a simple dress for a young girl. Okay, so now what I did here, I'll do in the other place. I came in by about 1 cm, that's just about 1 cm. So I'll do the same thing. I'm going to come in here by 1 cm and I'll adjust my curve so that I'll have my 1 cm. And then I just ask what's the total. What I have here is about 5 cm. So from here, I'll measure out my 5 cm and do I want it to be high or low? I want it to go low a bit, so I'm going down by 3 cm. And what I have here is a low. So now my new pattern is going to be this. I'm going to cut through this line. This this is my scissors showing you where I'm going to cut through. Okay, I'm going to cut through this line. Because now I've styled my pattern. So this symbol shows the place you're going to cut. I may decide that I do not want it to, I don't like the, I, I don't want it to have a low um, armhole. I want the armhole to come up a bit. So let me say I want the armhole to come up by 1.5. So I come up here and I do 1.5. So I would also come up here and go up by 1.5 and then what do I do? I would blend it into my new armhole. How old is this child? Maybe it's a two-year-old I'm sewing for. So I'll say, okay, fine. Since it's a two-year-old, I don't want the armpit to be too wide or a three-year-old. Now, it just depends on what style you're doing. Again, because it's a sleeveless dress and I wouldn't want it to be too low at the armpit. I want it to come up a bit. So you see me increasing my, you see me increasing my armhole measurement so I have some space. So watch this. That's my, that's actually my paper scissors. This is my fabric, sorry. That was my fabric, that is my paper scissors. So I'm cutting on my new line. This is still my working paper. So. Okay, so I'm going to put on 
also the shoulder area so from the back you can see what it looks like so i'll do the same thing and cut out in the front okay so i'll cut it out from the front sorry the back that was the front so this is the back please this is just like a slow part there is no um there is no sewing allowance on this it's when you're done you now go and get your sewing allowance on the clothes please there is no sewing allowance on this there is no sewing allowance on this so please don't go and say don't go and cut immediately you have to put out the sewing allowance on the dress and on the pattern before you can place on the fabric all right before you can place it on the fabric fabric yeah so this is what our pattern looks like okay this is what our pattern looks like now this is the back this is the c b center back why is it this here so let's compare the original pattern to this see it's not the same thing this now is different this is the original front but see see that a lot of things have happened it's not the same thing anymore this is the styled this is the styled version but this is just the, the slooper so i have styled this so from here we can start our drafting so what am i going to do i'm going to just add my sewing allowance uh, so that it becomes easier for me to start sewing so yeah i'll do that again mm. okay sorry i want you guys to understand what it's doing let me do, let me do those upside down sorry let me do it this way yeah but you understand it from there so This is the center back. Okay, and the center back. And um, go down. So that's this one. Okay, then I do this one. This is the center front motion. Okay, so this is the this is me marking out the pattern. I'm using a pen, a pen because I be, I'm believing you'll be able to see that. So this is the C F and this is the C B. So it's time to put my my sewing allowance. Okay, uh, let me try to make this a bit straight. Uh, wow. Well. Okay, so I'm putting my sewing allowance. I like to use one seam. Um, by the inseam in seam, and then the outer seam, I like to use two cm. So, this is my inseam on the on the inseam. I like to also use as the shoulder, the armhole. I like to use one cm too. So I'm going to mark my one cm and then connect all of them together. This ruler already has grid lines, so I don't need to start. You know what that then in my okay, I'm gonna join this together. Um if you don't know how to use a, a curve, you should start learning how to use a curve. Okay. Okay, um this join here and um this case me straight line here. So here I like to use 0 0.5. I don't I like using 0 0.5 for my necklines. I don't like using more than 0 0.5 for my necklines and my staff they know we always use 0 0.5 for neckline so it's, it always comes out really nice so you don't have to start um dragging how you know we, we, we have smooth curves whenever we're done so, so it comes out really nice okay we have that there so that's for the center back so i'm going to do for the front so here i use 2cm remember I use CM, 2 CM, so I go 2 CM down. Here I use 1 CM, so I'm going to mark 1 CM, 1 CM, <laughs> all the way down. 1 CM, 1 CM, 1 CM, 1 CM, 1 CM, and um, 
one seam, one seam all the way down and um, here of course one seam here so no, no, it's going to be like this one seam sorry so I'm going to join this join this join this I, I'll teach you later how to do your how to get to your that at this point. Okay. So the same thing we did for the other armhole. I said I used one cm for my um calculation. So one cm all the way, one cm all the way, one cm all the way, um one cm one cm one cm um one cm i just do that and i join it so with the curve you can actually join this join this to this join this to this join this to this and so here is one cm take my one cm foot out so what I'm doing is just putting my sewing allowance so it becomes very easy. If not because I'm actually working with um, a video, sometimes I just take my 1cm with the sewing machine so, and take my 1cm with my curve, right? See, I didn't have to do all that, but for the sake of people that are watching, I, I put those, the little dots. But usually with the curve, when you're, very, when you're used to working with curves, you can actually tell the 0 0.5, you can tell most of what measurements without having to... Without having to, without having to, to mark them by yourself, okay? So now I can cut out. You can cut on this one now, so that we can get to work. So if you are going to put any facing on this clothes, is from here you cut out your facing for the dress, and um, you can start to. Can start um, working with those facing. See that? So here you go. And then Mean center front, see the mean center back. Just in just a I don't know what here is. This is the center of the front. This is the center of the front of the dress. This is the center of the back of the dress. Just according to me, that something I don't even know what CF or CV means. Just wondering why I wrote CF and CV there. So, these are my seam. So, what you're seeing here is the seam line. So, again, let me bring out the original. This is my of my working pattern remember but this is my sloper see this is my sloper it originally came out from this from this i got my styling pattern my i got my styling pattern here and now this is like the main pattern of the dress i want to make okay the main pattern of the dress i want to make is right here so um people, are, people, are, people say why would i waste my time and be cutting papers instead of me to just go ahead start sewing now what papers will do for you is what the thing that your customer will say you spot my clothes you spot my clothes because from the papers you would make all your mistakes you will see your mistakes but if you just do it straight up you have people complaining that you took you made most of their clothes I get um yes i'm going to get away i'm moving this again for the one hundred and one time and um i want to call this is just a piece of fabric we picked from our stash, but from our stash, I really don't know. Well, we just have we just had this fabric, so I'm going to cut this with, on this red. Clothes. Just hope you. It's very little. So the beauty of patterns is that you can tell if your fabric is going to be enough. No need to start um, going back and forth. Oh, I don't have enough. It's, if it's not going to be enough food, um, I'll change it up right away to something else. So here is the CV, and it's going to be on the fold of the fabric. So I'm going to place it on the fold of the fabric. And I'll place my weights on it. I'm going to use this my ruler as a weight to place it. 
Some people like to use pins. I I love using weights. I don't know why. I'm just I just like using weights. You know. So this is the oh this is CB. I'm supposed to oh okay. So I must say that I made a mistake here. I was supposed to actually put um, a sewing allowance for the zipper, but um, maybe the zipper. I want to put the the, the zipper by the side wall. That's quite odd for children. So on this particular one, I'm going to put using my grid line. I'm actually going to put my sewing allowance of two cm on this one. Okay. So really, my bad. I will say my bad. And even notch it here yeah. so while well, this is going to be the while well, i'm going to do this on the cf the center front i'm going to place it okay so okay so you can actually see that I can use up the whole of the of the space that I have because I have I have um, I'm working with patterns, okay? I'm working with patterns. So I'll do the cutting and then I'll get right back to you on the no. Before I, before I do the cutting, I can actually do the facing. Facing is what I'm going to use to turn it out. So let's say I want to do facing on this clothes and um um. I want to do a facing on this dress. What I'll do may just be a. I'm gonna do what I call the all-in-one facing. Okay. Uh, I know some people are going to be confused when I'm done with this, but I'm going to use my curl to do a facing on this dress. So this is my facing on this dress. See that? I'm going to cut through this place, and that will be my facing on the clothes and. Um, I'll do the same thing here. If you don't understand this, uh, I don't know how I'm going to explain to you, but facing Jesus and turn your clothes without you um, being. So I'm just going to do facing this dress. So this is my facing. This is going to be the facing. So I'm going to show you how facing works. So just hold on a bit. I'll show you how facing works. Thank you very much. 